happy Friday evening to North America. Happy Saturday morning to Australia. Hello, hello, my friends. I am so, 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 so excited to be here tonight. I am so excited for what we have planned, not just for this evening, but actually for the next two weeks going into the event of Journey. I just, I have been over the moon. Like I, my husband looked at me yesterday and he was like, oh my gosh, I just realized that convention is only two weeks away. And I just feel like this one snuck up on me a little bit. I do not have all my outfits ready. So I still have to deal with that hitting up uh, Amazon, Amazon shopping later tonight. Cause I struck out at the mall <laughs> yesterday, but I just, I'm over the moon you guys, because this means it's time for everybody to get together. It's time for us to be either in a room to Together or maybe in a watch party together. I know we have so many that are going to be tuning in virtually this time, and it's just going to be such a special thing. And really, over the last week, uh, the, the Global Leadership Committee, as a group, we have been chatting a lot about what we could do to best support all of you, to best support your businesses going into journey, going into this event, going into the release of Uplift, which is an incredible product, and just so much. And so we started thinking, what can we do? How can we support? What do what do our people need to really go into this event the right way? And so we spent two and a half hours on a Zoom the other day coming up with ideas and things that we wanted to do. And I am so excited for what that has resulted in and what we are going to really provide for you guys over the next couple of weeks and how we're going to link arms. And I'm going to tell you right now that the name of the game around all of this is action. We are focusing on the everyday actions that should be going on in your businesses to really set yourself for success going into journey and especially coming out of journey. And we know that convention is such a special time and it's such a special thing. And the reason that convention does what it does for our businesses is because people get there and they tune in and they hear the information and then they go and they apply it in their businesses. And so we're going to set you up for the most successful convention that you can have. And I'm just so, so excited. And a handful of us were available tonight. So it's not your entire leadership committee, but there's a nice chunk of us here to kick things off. Um, and to really get things going and to start to just fill your brains a little bit, the incredible Katie Bristow and Ben Bristow um, are going to kind of kick us off and just give you some good ideas and action steps and things to go in. So Katie, take it away, my friend. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I We actually both have taken up Lyft today. <laughs> I'll take four. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think it's our new favorite. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. We actually had to like go through our list of favorite products. Like, okay, you're staying, you're staying, you're going, you're staying. Like Uplift, I'm telling you guys, you're going to want to get your hands on it. Um, what, How we feel, the energy, the clarity. Uh, Ben's like not drinking caffeine, which if you knew like Ben, five years. Actually, tomorrow's our five-year Q anniversary. Like, holy cow, what's happened in five years? <laughs> um, Yeah, Ben's like not drinking like all the Monster Energy drinks. No, it used to be a thousand milligrams of caffeine a day and now I'm just taking uplift. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So you guys, like we are so fired up and, you know, I think someone commented on one of my posts like, okay, you know, journey in 18 days and they're like, I can't believe convention's here already. Like, I feel like it's snuck up, but also like feels late because usually we've had this big family reunion by like January, late January timeframe. And so the fact that we've had to wait until March to regather, regroup, be able to get in the same rooms, share hugs, handshakes, and just really unite as a company. Like, I just feel like that should have happened like two, three weeks ago, but I can't wait to be in Arizona with so many of you guys. Um, and really, I mean, for Ben and I, convention has been the event that that has really, um, you know, I go back five years, our first event is really what cast the vision that we caught and ran with and allowed us to know what's possible here in this business. And so the thing that I and really we want to talk about is prep, pre kind of prepping to get into um, that event as strong and in momentum as possible. And a phrase, I hope she's on here. I hope my friend Cynthia Zamora is on here because she said something on a team call a couple weeks ago that I think about every single day. 
And it's the phrase of, are you taking advantage of the springtime? Are you taking advantage of the springtime? Meaning if you're a farmer, we live in Boise, Idaho. So it's kind of like farm country, dairy country over here. Um, but farmers are planting the seeds. They're, they're not harvesting the crop in the spring. They're planting the seeds. They're, they're doing the action to what will then produce the fruit. The same kind of concept goes, you know, if anyone is on like the West Coast or in like a surfing, you know, um, uh, more of like Pacific um, kind of beachy community. If anyone's a surfer on here, you know, similar to farmers, you don't just like walk out there and like harvest your crop. Surfers, they don't just see a wave and the waves here and then you go catch it. You're paddling and you're paddling and you're gaining momentum as the wave's coming. And then all of a sudden the wave's here and bam, you catch it. And so we don't want any of us, I don't want to be sitting there waiting for the wave. I don't want to be sitting there waiting for, for, for the harvest. We want to be in action right now leading into the event because guess what happens Friday? <laughs> if you've not been in Q Sciences on a Friday, <laughs> Friday morning, I mean, we're talking about that's when everything's rolled out. The products, the promos, the comp plan. I can't believe I get to even talk about that at this event because if you have seen even a small sliver, actually anyone on a on any of the leadership panels, committees, like pop in the chat box your feelings, looking at the compensation plan a couple days ago and how you like, I, Jamie's like, I cried. <laughs> I was emotional. I mean, you guys, this is something that I believe is so deserving. I mean, there are people on my team, I'm not going to say who, but I did the math. I'm like, some people would have been paid like 40, 50% more on the new comp plan had they been paid on it the last two years. I mean, that's insane. That's not a couple hundred bucks. I'm talking thousands of dollars paid to more families around the world. <laughs> and so now's the time to get into action and get busy building your business. And we'll wrap up at the end talking about how we're going to help you do that. Um, but Ben, I want you to talk about prepping for in person. Oh, I'm totally unprepared no you're yeah. not <laughs> um, but seriously like, uh coming into convention like i wish i would have known five years ago if this is your first convention first of all uh congratulations especially at an in-person one it's going to be exciting for you to be there we're excited for that you're going to come if you're a veteran at conventions and you understand probably what we're going to talk about uh one of my biggest things was my fitness level going into convention doing something prior to going into those three to four days depends upon if we had charity events in the past it could be almost a whole week at some point right um, but get out there, do your fitness, come your best possible version of yourself to this convention, right? If you just start working out now and getting a couple things here and there, you're going to feel so much better once you get to convention. Cause I don't think people quite understand that this is not a vacation, right? Like this is a business trip convention to see all of your mentors, to see all the leaders in queue, to rub shoulders with them, get to know who they are, get the stories, right? Get with your fellow ambassadors of Q, people who are, you are a like-minded community and get together with them so you guys can all have stories coming out of this convention. Yes, the product releases are great. Yes, the comp plans can be great, but it's the relationships that you make mm -hmm. this that weekend, not this weekend, I wish it was this weekend. <laughs> I'm so hyped up for this. It's the relationships that you make that weekend that's going to carry you until that next convention when we get to do it all over again, right? So get ready for an exciting time. I can't wait for it. If you are sitting in the back at convention, I offer you to get as far front as you possibly can. Don't be like we, we did at our first convention in Orlando five years ago. We were all in the way back on day one, and we said we are not doing that again. We want to be in that front row one day, so let's get as far forward as we possibly can. So I'm going to pass it back to my wife, and I cannot wait for Glendale to come up. Me too. Me too. Actually, if you're if you're coming to Glendale, like – Holler in the chat. I want to know who we get to see, who we get to share the event with, because hopefully you know, holler. <laughs> I love that. You guys, everyone's a VIP. Like Leadership Academy, everyone's in the Leadership Academy. Everyone's coming to the leadership event. Food. Food, 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 <laughs> food, food, food. Every, like there's meals included. Like it's crazy, 
corporate is like rolling out the red carpet for us to to really um, be able to have, I mean, it all set up for us. And so if anyone's actually sitting there and I'm like secretly saying this to my Aussie friends, like, please book a last minute flight to convention because I want to see you. Um, if you're like, well, maybe, oh, I just joined two days ago. Like, um. Like you will not regret it. You will not regret being in the room. And actually, I'm really excited. A couple people down from now, you're actually here from Brandon because that uh, this event is going to be history, like repeated itself. Um, same. I think it's like the same room, the same hall, the same venue of when Q Sciences became Q Sciences and it was put on the map because of um, the Stevens. And the Spencers and families who really came together behind the brand and rallied and made Q what it is today. Like this is history repeating itself. And I wish I wish I could go back and be a part of that event. I can't. So I'm not missing this one. And so can't wait to see you guys. I'm trying to think my brain kind of moves kind of fast. Not really? <laughs> <laughs> I think I covered everything. Um Uplift is working. It's I'm like, crazy. <laughs> actually, if anyone, I can't like, this is non-compliant, but it's like, if you struggle with focus and attention, Uplift is for you. You're it's gonna insane. love it. It's insane. It's insane. But I'm actually gonna pass it over to um, one of my great friends, Mel Goodwin out of the Australian market. I'm so grateful I've been able to spend actually a lot of time with Mel in the last year. Um, she is an OG of OGs, you guys. Um, leader of leaders. I mean, we're so grateful to have her pioneering that market, you know, with us and for us. And so, Mel, I'm going to pass it over to you to help us prep virtually for this this event. Amazing. Thank you so much, Katie and Ben. Like, I don't know about you, guys, but I do want to book a flight now. Like, I'm sorry, you fired me up. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm so excited to talk about um virtual uh the virtual event <clears throat> but you know what it kind of makes me a bit sad a because obviously you know um virtual you're not there in person and really feeling the feels but it kind of brings me back to what we had to do during COVID like our whole country got locked down all of our countries got locked down right we couldn't travel so virtual kind of was the only option and now that we have option, ultimately, we want you guys there in person because that's where you get the feels, 100%, right? But if that's not possible, just, you know, I don't know. I've got this thing that's tearing me at the moment. It's like my daughter turns 18 on the Saturday of conference. So my mum guilt is kicking in by if I do decide to book a plane ticket, right? Because I don't know, how would you guys feel about being away from your daughter on their 18th birthday, right? I think she would shoot me. <laughs> and I know how, I know I want to be there. But anyway, that's enough of me. But um, take it with you, Mel. I know I'm working on that one, Leah. Whoever suggested that, that's definitely uh, a game plan as well. But where I want to go with virtual is if you are, attending virtually and my beautiful friend Kayla reminds me of this all the time you have to stay close to the fire to in this business always and it, it, events we say is no non-negotiable why because it's for you it's not about us it's for you to stay close to the fire and get the feels that you need to then go and take action, right? So when we talk about virtual, it isn't the same. Let's all be honest. We don't want to BS and fluff you. It's definitely not. However, it's still necessary to keep close to the fire, okay? So how do you add on to that? What I mean by add on to that is don't just do virtual by yourself. Virtual is something, in my opinion, that needs to be done together, okay? I cannot tell you how many times, especially during COVID or if I haven't been able to, you know, I'm so fortunate that I get to get on Zooms with these guys, you know, probably on average once a week, you know, in terms of leadership and corporate and things like that. That's me staying close to the fire because, guys, it's hard. It's hard when we sit to, on our own and not keep in touch with what lights us up. We have to keep close to what lights us up and us close to the fire. Now, how do you do that? 
you get a shiz load of people together or go find someone who's getting uh, together virtually and you get on and watch them, uh, watch that virtual together. I remember back in the day, we used to log on to Zoom, watch the um, conference on Zoom with a whole group of people. Okay, so that what we do there is we get excited when there's something happening, you know, and usually it was 2, 3, 4 a.m. for us. Usually what we'd be doing is we'd be on Zoom, we'd be half asleep watching it, but we would be keeping typing. Oh, my gosh, how exciting. Rah, 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 all the things. Block out that time that the virtual that the event is on where you are watching and watching it with people. Why, guys? Because if you don't make that commitment to watch it with somebody, with others, it will just be another thing that you don't come back to. That's why it is so important to get on live, commit to yourself and others that you will be there no matter what. You will show up because other people are relying on you to show up or you've obviously, you know, said that you were going to show up to this time. And you know what, guys, you know, I will always say it. Like that it, I'm no one special and I'm sure Kate and Ben and, and Jamie, you know, Brandon, Kayla, all of us leaders on here will say we're nobody special. What we did was just get excited and kept close to the fire. And, and 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 showed up even when we didn't want to and that right there is the exact is why virtual is so important if you cannot make it to an in-person event so I'm excited and I will see you guys on virtual and if anyone doesn't have anyone to watch virtual with you hit me up you hit Kayla up you hit Amy up because I tell you us Aussies uh, are, are going to be watching virtual right if we're not there like if Kayla and I and Amy don't decide that we're going to book a ticket then we will be there um, so who, hit us up because we will have something that we will commit to and our teams will commit to to be there watching it together okay and get excited even if it's messenger chat whatever right? To keep close to the fire. So make sure you grab your mess your messenger. Make sure you grab your virtual ticket. But before you do, wait till the end of this call, this Zoom, because Kayla Milner has some exciting promo that she's going to drop down for you guys around a virtual ticket. Okay. So I think I'm introducing Brandon next. Is that right, guys? Okay, cool. We pulled this together. I mean, and I've just got to say, your leadership, guys, I think, like, incredible. These incredible leaders pulled this together within literally, uh, like, a day, 24 hours, right? Um, so this was just super impressive, and I'm so excited um, that you get to hear from my sponsor, my mentor, my brother, my family, um, Mr. Brandon Stevens. Katie talked about me being OG, but... You know, he tops us all, right? He's the OG of OG. <laughs> um, so I'm super excited. I know, I think he's in El Paso right now. When I spoke to him earlier, he's eating Mexican. So I'm assuming it's El Paso. Um, and so he's there right now with his son doing the football thing, uh, but has taken the time out to join us on this call. And he's going to fire you guys up. So I'm going to turn the time over to Black Diamond, Mr. Brandon Stevens. Uh, thanks, Mel. I appreciate you. And uh, exciting to see everybody's face. Sorry, I'm in a hotel right now. I am I am in El Paso, Texas right now uh, for my son's football tournament. But I actually have a couple meetings too as well down here because there's a couple ambassadors in El Paso too as well. So if you know anybody in El Paso, let me know because football is only two hours a day. So I have a lot of time to spare too as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to fire you up, but I, I, I might get a little emotional because I want to talk about journey and this journey that we're going on during this process to this main event was, was meant for a reason called journey because the journey is what develops us who we are as people. And this journey in Q science has been a little different in business than it has been in other business adventures uh, for me in general. Um, my previous venture, uh, I hit success very quickly. And I made a lot of money really quickly. Um, 
to the amount of over $800,000 a month. And some people are like, whoa. And I was whoa too as well, to be honest with you. I think Mel was the only one on this call that got to see that and witness that. Uh, I did a lot of stupid things. I didn't have financial coaches in my life like we do here in Q Sciences with Sarah Spencer. Uh, I didn't have the right mentorship or leadership. I, I blew a lot of money. Uh, I was a little smart at the end of my journey with that company and started investing into certain companies and as a private investor and done really well. But as I got into Q, I realized I had to check my ego because when I built success so fast, I developed an ego. And when you build slowly, it, it really builds more character. It's more character building. You appreciate the small wins. You appreciate the development stage of what Q has made me become who I am today as a father, as a husband, as a leader. Um, and seeing sometimes where you see other people win bigger than you at certain uh, like seasons of your life in business. For three years, I remember I was at my lowest in Q and I was having to be the biggest cheerleader. I was having to always cheer everybody else that was in recognition. I saw people getting promoted. I saw teams passing me up. And I realized the other day, uh, I wrote down in my notes, you know, when you're when you're going to pop some popcorn in the microwave, it's the same temperature or a pan or however you do it. It's the same temperature and everything else. But when you open up the, the popcorn, there's some kernels that are still not popped. They're the same temperature, the same environment, same everything. And I just realized maybe it's just not my time to pop yet. And I was like, you know what? Law of attraction, something will eventually give if I put enough pressure on it. I just got to keep staying the course and keep staying the course and staying the course because people, if they don't, if they don't see the vision, they don't see me sold out. They don't see me gun hole in Q science. If you notice in every picture, every story, everything, I have Q sciences on. And if somebody doesn't see me that I'm sold out with Q sciences, they're not going to join me. My vision has got to be so big that they see their self fitting inside of it. Because if I'm not fully sold out with Q, they're gonna like, well, how can you get me where I wanna be? They're not just joining Q, they're joining you. And so like, when I started, I was like, I just need to stay the course. I need to stay down the journey. I need to listen to my mentors, my coaches in Q Sciences. And if they say, turn right, I need to turn right. If they say, turn left, I need to turn left. If I need to show up to this event, I need to show up to that event. Everything that I qualified to attend, I showed up to, even when I wasn't winning, I was the loudest cheerleader. I was cheering everybody I possibly could on. They said, whoever cheers the loudest wins the biggest in the long term, in the long run. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep staying in the course. I'm going to keep doing it. And as I started to gather these events, current events that were happening at corporate, regional, Zooms, I was trying to jump on every call I possibly could. And I had my notepad and pen and I was taking notes. I was becoming a student again. I was adapting to the industry and pivoting. See, the thing is, sometimes we think we're too good and we forgot where we come from. See, I started to realize excitement. Excitement and strength is one of the two things that I need to focus most in my life. Why excitement? How excited were you on day one when you first got started? How excited were you when you first showed up to your first convention? You were jacked out of your mind. You didn't even know what you were talking about, but you had people signing up left and right. You didn't know the comp plan and how to break it down, really. You really didn't know how to give a proper presentation or go in depth with the ingredients. Heck, I still can't. I got to ask Kim, Kim Williamson some still questions about some of the products sometimes. Like, it's crazy. Like, the thing is where I'm going with this. Ignorance on fire is sometimes better than knowledge on ice. You got to get back to getting excited. The roots of what it was like when you first got started in Q Sciences. Sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we don't appreciate that anymore. We forget about the things that Q did for us or some of the things that our leaders did for us. And we start getting selfish. We started getting neglect. We started not get the excitement anymore. But there were strengths that came along with me in Q Sciences where these events made me stronger. They brought my belief back. They brought my confidence back when I needed the most. I call it the checkpoint. And the checkpoint to this journey is that little net race car, car uh, arcade game you drive and it has 30 seconds that's counting down. That's your, that's your ticking bomb right there. When that gets down, if you're not going to another event or if you're not plugging into an event virtually or in person, whatever you possibly can do to be around the fire, like Mel said, you have to be around that because then it creates belief again. It reminds you why you got started again. And then when you see people walking across the stage and getting their awards and promotions, dude, that fires me up more than anything seeing people win. 
And that's what it's truly, really about is the journey, falling in love with the journey. Where they say, the man that loves the walk will get a lot farther than the man that loves the destination. You got to fall in love with the journey here in Q Sciences. Not everything's going to be sunshines and rainbows. It's not going to be a clear path to the top of the mountain. You're going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. It happens to the best of us. That's why they say, be responsible. That's why Sarah Spencer says, live off 30% of your income. Do not raise your lifestyle because you're going to have ups and downs. See, what I've realized though, MLMers don't last long in Q Sciences because they're poor with their finances. Business owners are smart long-term and learning to ne neglect their business, their money in certain areas of their business and to be able to reserve. It's called acting broke and stacking cash. It's not about how much money you made. It's about how much money you keep. I've made, I've seen people make millions and millions of dollars and have nothing to show for it. And then they can't even pay their taxes. And that kicks them out of the game. They disappear. Every single time I've seen somebody leave the network marketing industry, it was because of taxes or finances or maybe marriage. Every single time, every single time. And I was like, you know what? Winners never quit, quitters never win. I'm going to listen to Miss Sarah Spencer and Mr. Jake Spencer and do exactly what they tell me to do. Live off 30% of my income. Put back money in savings. And because I've learned this at conferences when we talked about FFM and the journey that I've gone through the last six years in Q Sciences, it's it's prepared me as a better leader, a better husband, a better father, and a, and a better individual to my peers and my community. And that's what it's truly, truly about. So you got to fall in love with the journey, guys, because when you fall in love with the journey, your vision will be crystal clear and you know exactly where you're going. And people will buy, buy they will buy it off your excitement. I, like, oh, I'm excited. Well, tell me, tell your face that. Your face doesn't look excited. Like, you got to be excited everywhere you go. You got to find ways to compliment somebody every time. And people come to me like, why are you so happy all the time? Well, if you knew my community, you knew my people, you knew the Q Science family that I'm a part of, you'd be excited too as well. I can't deny it. The amazing products. Oh my gosh. Like I was, I'm, I, I heard, uh, I thought I saw Dylan say earlier that Uplift's amazing on here. And I was like, crap, I forgot to take my Uplift today. So I took my Q Core, my Max and everything. And I was looking at it and I looked at the time. It's already 5.30 here in El Paso. And I was like, I better not take it now. I'll be up all night. Because uh, my energy levels, because they said, don't take it after 3 p.m. And so we have an amazing suite of products. I know it can be confusing right now with AI, the brain tap, the Uplift, some of the other products that we have and everything, but the goal and, 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 and the journey hasn't changed. You share the opportunity and let people make a decision. Let them get in where they fit in. We've said it forever. We walk, we welcome all walks of life. Different people have different expectations of their journey here in Q Sciences. So it's not just about getting filthy rich. It's not about just, just making part-time money. It's not just about getting, living a healthier life. It might not just be about community and be part of Ironman. It might be collective of all that. And who we choose to be able to choose what path they want to take. Everybody has their different journey. And your journey is up to you what path do you want to take? But one thing that I love about this journey is if I take you fishing and I catch you a fish and feed you for that day, I didn't teach you anything, but I teach you how to fish. I feed you for a lifetime. They're teaching us the skill set to be successful in this industry. I love that. And if any of each and every one of y'all have not been to an event yet, you have to be virtual or you have to be in person. You're not going to want to miss this. Or I would 100% refund you your money back if you feel like you didn't get enough value of it. That's how confident I am about these events. Mr. Spencer, Mark Wilson, all these other individual uh, people that's part of the Q Science uh, corporate page, a uh, corporate has never let us down. They've always made it the best event every single time. So I'm telling you right now, I would love to see each and every one of you in journey. If you're not there, Tune in virtually, get a, get a journey party at your house or come over, have, have just snacks and drinks and things like that and take good notes and have a good time. Because I'm telling you right now, some of the announcements, the comp plan, I believe Katie's going to be covering that comp plan, the new comp plan and the ladder structure where there's not such big breakage. Oh my gosh, I was just mind blown because I told, I told my wife, I was like, we were, we were $30,000 away, like literally only like 20,000 sales volume. We would have made $30,000 more 
and we were that close. I was like, this is crazy. That got me super jacked up because what was happening is people at the end of the month, oh, I'm too far away from the next rank. So I'll just wait to sign somebody up to the next one. No, now we're looking at them gaps. They're so much smaller to help people make more money. This is crazy, guys. I'm telling you right now, the owners, the staff has always got creative. They've always been innovative. They've always pivot. They're always ahead of the game. And I'm so thankful that we have people in our corner that have our backs. So I'm going to stop talking because I can talk forever about the journey here in Q Sciences and what I've been able to learn the last six years and what we're doing. And um, it's exciting. And I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm glad you are a part of it too as well. So I have the opportunity to bring up the last speaker, Miss Kayla. Miss Kayla is a platinum ambassador. She's part of the community here in Q Sciences too as well. She is a phenomenal leader in the Australian marketplace. She had teams all around the world in multiple countries, Canada, United States, Australia mostly. Uh, she's 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 dynamite. She, she's an amazing leader. People pull on her shirt tail, wanting to pull on her all the time, want to do meetings with her. I mean, like she is a lifesaver. I couldn't think of a better person to close out this meeting than her herself and to roll out an amazing promo that's going to blow you away. So please pay close attention because she's about to She's about to blow the socks off you. Miss Kayla, are you there, ma'am? That was wild. Thank you so much, Brandon. Love you. Appreciate you. All of the leaders on this call, like, I have this full body excitement. Like, if you're feeling what I'm feeling right now, I don't even know if we're up to numbers. I don't know what we're putting in the chat. Put a two in the chat. If you are as jacked as Brandon, you are super excited about Journey, like, you know, Brandon has such a phenomenal mind, a phenomenal um, way of explaining things to people, right? And I know every time he speaks, I listen in always, right? Because I know staying close to Brandon, learning from Brandon, I'm staying close to the fire. And Mel talked about that. And I talked about that on our previous call in and, um, as soon as we jumped off that previous call, I had a message from somebody who said, sorry, I've been MIA. I just jumped on that call and oh my gosh, my fire is burning bright again. And this is why you don't stop getting on calls, right? I know sometimes we're like, oh, I don't think I can learn anymore or I've listened to that person speak again before. What else can I learn? You will always learn something. And the best way to stay excited in this business, and Mel talked about it too, is you have to be consistent. You have to do those boring activities every single day to grow yourself, to grow your business. And if you stay close to the fire, you will move through that ladder pretty quickly. Now, what I love with what we're creating here amongst all of the leadership committee, and I know there's a couple of leaders that couldn't be on because they had prior commitments, is we're going to host daily calls for you. Now, over this past week, Brandon's been doing it, our team's been doing it as well, and these are action-oriented oriented calls, uh, calls, right? So calls that you can get on that are short, sharp, and sweet, an hour max, to get you into action, to move the needle forward in your business. The activities and tasks that we're going to give you, they're going to be the same on every single call, no matter what leader is hosting that call. But you will always learn something different from somebody's approach, somebody's the way in which they are reaching out to people. You're always going to learn something different. So if you can get on all of the calls, get on all of the calls. Now, I know straight up, Katie's going to be hosting the call tomorrow. It is at Saturday, 1 p.m. MST time. Is that mountain time? MST time, which is Sunday, 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So to recap again, the first action call, the first kickoff call of our, of our two weeks of action calls to lead into journey to help you to like, did, did you hear the compensation plan stuff that's happening? It's going to drop on the 1st of March. So many of you are going to get a new rank, a pay rise going into journey. You don't want to miss this. Get on these action calls, get amongst the fire, learn some new skills, do the daily activities to move your business forward to get you to that new rank before you get to convention, right? Even if you are watching it virtually. But Katie's doing that very first call Saturday, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, which is Sunday, 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. One hour of hard out activity. I know, I, I don't know if Ben's going to be on. He's probably going to be daddy watching the kids, but Katie's going to be on. She's going to be giving you so many tasks. Like you, you just want to be making sure you're staying connected and staying close to the fire. I'm excited for this next two weeks of action calls. We will get the list out to you guys and share with you the days, the times, who's hosting the calls. They will always be on this Zoom link. 
Thank you so much to the phenomenal Jamie Howe. This is her Zoom link. She's offering it out to us. We want to keep things simple for you guys. We want to make sure that it's as easy as possible. It's the same link, Zoom link all of the time. Now, there's I mean, there's 101 people on this call, which is wild. That's amazing. Like we've had some phenomenal numbers for a Friday evening and a Saturday morning. We can get more numbers on these action calls. Make sure you tell your team that this is happening as well. You don't want them to miss out on it because you helping your team to win is ultimately going to help you win. And we know a rising tide will float all ships. And Katie talked about the, the tsunami that's coming, right? What's coming? We don't want to miss that. You can sit on it. You can watch it if you want. It's going to happen either way. You either be a part of it and you go with it or you watch it because we're all running. I know that. All right. So that's the first thing off that I wanted to talk about, the action call. Now, who I did see somebody in the comments say, I wish I could afford it. Do you know what? Like who else is in that boat? Who else wishes they could afford to get on a plane, to get to Arizona, to get to convention, to get an Airbnb, all of the things. There's so many of us. Like I know there's lots of international people. It's it's costly right now. And the, and the cost of living is wild. It's going up constantly. We have the ladder approach to help us all out. And we can now share that and share that with other people. But we have something phenomenal that we want to offer to you guys. So as a leadership team, we went to corporate and we said, what can we do for our community? What can we do for our people that want to be there, but they just physically can't afford it? Or their daughter's having an 18th birthday on the same day as convention. She really can't make it. All of the things, right? So they have given us a promo. So anyone that is on this call, anyone that is maybe in your team that you know that could benefit from this as well, please reach out to them and let them know because we want to maximize this. We want to help as many people as we possibly can to get a ticket. Whether you are watching virtually at home or watching virtually in a watch party or an Airbnb, and that's what we, we more so recommend and suggest because power in numbers, excitement together, you know, that banter, that fun that we're all here for, Absolutely, I couldn't reiterate enough watching it virtually, watching it together. Now, what the promo is that we are going to offer out to you guys, and like I said, it's for anyone on this call, it is for anyone in our teams, is buy one, get one free. So you can go to your back office, you can go to your shopping cart, and you will see in there the journey virtual ticket. I'm not sure on what the American dollar is on how much these tickets are, but you can buy one and you can get one free. So what could you do with that? You could, firstly, you could buy one. You could gift out the other one to somebody in your team that you know really wants to be a part of this that just can't afford it. Maybe you can uh, reach out to a business partner, reach out to a friend. So they're 200 USD, 100 USD each. I think it's around maybe 150 Australian, the, the, the difference around there. But you could reach out to somebody and say, hey, Look, there's this offer right now until the end of month only, until the end of month where we can buy one, get one free. How about we go halvesies and we both get a ticket each, right? Why not do that? Why not share the love with amongst your team so that then that way it's a win for them and it's a win for you because we know when people get amongst this and they see Katie roll out the comp plan and they see how simple it is that she's talking about the latter approach, that they're going to feel confident enough to go and say it to somebody else. When they hear Kim Williamson get on stage and talk about Uplift and whoever else is going to be talking about, probably Sarah Spencer, about the brain tap, they're going to feel empowered to know certain key things to be able to then go and share it with other people. But not only that, Peter Kell is going to be there. He is the brains behind Genius AI. Genius AI is phenomenal. And he's going to release a bunch of features, like wild features at convention. You don't want to miss this, guys. So this is your opportunity for those that cannot be there in person to get a virtual ticket. Buy one, get one free. Share it with your biz buddy. Share it with your sideline sister if you haven't got a biz buddy yet. But we're all in this together. So what I suggest and recommend that you do is if you want to you know, reach out to your friend, Get, get go into partnership, buy one together, whatever that looks like. Reach out to, this is going to be admin for us, but we love you all. We're here for it. Jamie, myself, Katie, Brandon, Mel, Jenna, Kim, whoever it might be, or maybe somebody on the, on the leadership panel like Dylan or Hannah, let them know that you've purchased a ticket in the buy one, get one free offer. Because this is a manual process that corporate have to do for us. And let us know who you're gifting that other ticket to so that we can get corporate to sort that out and that person can then get that email with all of that information around the logins and around the Zooms and around the times. So 
I just want to say thank you all so much for jumping on and listening in. We honour you. We honour your time. We know it's Friday evening. You have families. It's Saturday morning. We've got people at cricket. My husband's at the gym with kids and he's been there for hours. I don't even know how many more hours he's going to be there for, but I'm like, thank you. But, you know, we've all got things going on in life. Celebrate yourselves for being here, for showing up, for being a part of this and staying close to the fire and keep staying close to the fire so that you can continue to grow your business. Keep doing those small daily tasks every single day because that's what leads to big results over time. It's the journey of going from where we are now to where we want to be in our life. So huge love to you all. I'm not sure if any of the other uh, members want to say anything to wrap this up, but we just appreciate you and we will see you tomorrow on Katie's call, the very first action call. Watch out for the flies. It's going to be distributed everywhere. We cannot wait. We love you all. Have an amazing weekend, my friends, and we'll see you soon.